the border on IHAR Radio today. You get a hold of us online over there at jiggyjagwire.com. J I G G Y J G G Y R dot Thanks for tuning in to the big broadcast live video on our website, jiggyjagwire.com. Also, Twitch. We're twitching on the Twitch today. We have a great author coming up here in just a few moments. Then we're going to do our second week with The Prisoner, as I like to call it. And uh, Niall Nickel will join us in this broadcast as well. It is the venerable Tuesday edition of the World Bank. Check my radio broadcast. Thanks for joining us. Our first guest is going to join us via the magic of the old skip Skype. Yes, the Skype Rooney. And we are going to go to our guest. She is going to find us on the skip or on the skip, or I'm going to find her on the skip or somebody skipping somewhere. Maybe my voice is skipping. I don't know. Okay, what is going on here with the old Skype? What's going on with the old Skype? By the way, our, our videos are uploaded to Rumble. It used to be our videos are uploaded to YouTube, cross-posted to Rumble, but now it's more or less videos are uploaded to Rumble and cross-posted to YouTube. <laughs> that's, that's honestly how it works. But 200-plus uh, radio stations in the Fruited Plain, as the great Rush Limbaugh would say, and have, or would have said... I don't know. Get a hold of us online at JiggyJaguar.com. We're going to talk to the author of Kiss My Boots here in just a few moments, Jennifer Learmont. She was born in a little town called Wagga Wagga in New South Wales, Australia. Where the hell is Wagga Wagga? We're going to find out where Wagga Wagga is. So we're going to go to Jennifer. She is going to join us here in just a few seconds. She is going to find us on the old Skip Skype. Yo, Skype Rooney. And we will talk about this incredible book that she has out there. It's called Kiss My Boots. We're going to be kissing some boots today. Let's hope we can kiss some boots. Puss some boots, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, she is going to join us here in just a few moments, hopefully, via the magic of the old Skip Skype. As I let the Skype ring go. Tells me there's some issues here. Maybe on her end. Okay. We'll do as the great Tom Lycus says. We're gonna go track down Jennifer. We'll see if we can track down Jennifer. Hopefully we uh, we can track down the fantastic me. Jennifer Learmont. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. How are you going? Pretty good, actually. Welcome to the broadcast. How are you, my friend? Yes, I'm good. It's 5 a.m. here. I <laughs> got up, had a coffee. I'm ready. <laughs> so uh, you have, first of all, before we get going here, where in the world is Wagga Wagga in New South Wales, Australia? I love well, that but, in your bio. I, I love it. I know. Um, well, it's not called Wagga Wagga. It's called Wagga Wagga. Wagga Wagga. It's, okay, even better. Even better. Yeah, it, it means in Aboriginal where the crows fly backwards. <laughs> okay, that's the, uh, it's, it's um it's in the Riverina Riverina area, about five miles inland from uh, Sydney, and it's a sheep farming area. Yeah. Amazing. It's a, yeah, it's actually quite a big town now. But when I was little, I never grew up there. I I was born there, and I grew up in Sydney. But um, I've got generations there, parents that's and grandparents. Awesome. And stuff. That's awesome. So uh, yeah. <laughs> you have got an incredible, incredible book here. It is called Kiss My Boots. Oh, did you read it? Yes, it is amazing. Tell me a little bit more oh. about this book for the folks that uh, have yet to pick it up. Tell me about it. Uh, well, um, I had felt the need to write it because um, my husband, um, who was a real scallywag, over in the States, um, his book was coming out. Well, it's still coming out. <laughs> it's taken 10 years to to write. And um, he contacted me in 2017 saying that he was going to write this book and would I mind being in it. And I said, oh, no, that will be great. So I was going back and forth to the States and helping him with research. And 
And I realised that um, his book's going to say where he came from and where he ended up with a PhD. And and I was just in the middle of it in this really dark area, married to a drug smuggler, you know, a dominatrix, scammer, whatever else I was doing at the time. Not where I came from or where I ended up. And I felt the need to write my own story from the woman's point of view. Yeah. That's awesome. But basically. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We have got Jennifer Learmont with us today. Kiss My Boots is the latest from her, and she joins us via the magic of the old Skip Skype. Yes, the Skyper Rooney and uh, Jennifer Learmont joins us today. Uh, I do love the, the, the first couple lines in the description online. It says, my commitment to eating healthy was only equaled by my desire for cocaine. Uh, That's it. <laughs> tell me a little bit about all this stuff. And I, and I think that that's why I'm alive today, and I look pretty good. Uh, I, I was um, my whole life's been a contradiction. Like, uh, you know, I was a drug addict. Not really a drug addict. I still worked. You know, it's like a big party. Um, I still had to look good at being a dominatrix. I had really high powered clients i couldn't look like a skank you know i had to look okay that's awesome so yeah so but i was a health nut as well i'd go to the gym and work out and eat really well and i think that that's why i'm alive today um and then of course i was a, a yoga student and a dominatrix and singing in a gospel choir so everything was a contradiction in my life yeah that's amazing. We've got Jennifer Learmont with us today. Kiss My Boots is the latest from her. She joins us today here on the old Skip Skype. And uh, so this book, incredibly well written. Tell me a little bit about your writing process for this book, Jennifer. Well, um, as you uh, may have read in the book, I went to 30 schools, uh, had a very dysfunctional childhood. So I didn't have a great education. I did go back and get my um, higher school certificate. Um, my my um, learning was my mother was a, a concert pianist and a opera singer and really well educated. So she was my teacher. So I was lucky to have her and she was an avid reader. So she would read to me and, and you know, I'd read some of the things that she uh, re uh, was reading. So I got to learn that way, but I didn't really have, uh, I didn't know I could write anything. It started uh, being a journal I started as a journal just as a legacy to tell my family what I was doing over there because they'd ask me questions and I'd give vague answers or lies and it just provoked more questions and I thought oh god this is hell I've got to put it out there and then I kept re reading little snippets to people and they're going this is fantastic you should write a book you should turn it into a book so that's how it happened it just manifested I don't know where it came from I just sat down and I, maybe it was cathartic. I had to get it out. I had to put it on paper. That's awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big program. So take, take me through your, uh, your whole writing process. Did you use notes? Did you use an outline? How, how, how did you bring this thing to life? I, uh, I downloaded an app called um, My Journal. <laughs> which calculates the pages you write and it also dates everything. And I just uh, started putting entries in, which is basically an outline. I date it and I, I started by putting it in years, starting in uh, um, 1980 when I landed in the States. So I started there and I just got, from what I remembered, you know, I just put it into years. So that became the outline. I did about uh, 30,000 words on that. And then that was the outline. And then from there, I used that as a, a guide to write the book. Fantastic. Yeah, chapter by chapter. Fantastic. I'm glad you read it. Well, it is it is an incredible book. I, I, I really think that uh, you, you hit it out of the park on this one. What are some of your goals for the book, Kiss My Boots? Well, um, I'm thinking of getting a film treatment and um, maybe pitch it. I think it would be a fantastic um, movie or Netflix series. I know I'm not a famous person, but I've seen a lot of the true stories, and this is a pretty good true story. I think it'd, it'd, each chapter would be a series. I think it would be – that would be my goal for it. I think it would be great. 
And I, I am going to write a second uh, book, and it's going to um, delve more into the characters and the dominatrix world and, you know, my husband, my ex-husband, who was is a phenomenon in himself. His book's just about to come out. So, yeah, just delve more into those people. I wouldn't go back into the childhood because I had to, I had to put the child in as a segue to why and where my moral compass was and why I did the things I did, you know. Um, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. We have got a great guest with us today. We are going to do this. We're going to take a brief time out here. Uh, we're going to put our guest on hold here on Skype, and uh, when we come back, we will keep chatting with Jennifer Learmont. She is the author of Kiss My Boots, an incredible book called Kiss My Boots, and uh, it is about her days as a dominatrix. And uh, So talk to me a little bit about more about and this book. <laughs> oh, a little bit more about the book? Yes, um, tell me all the more about well, the book. Okay, it's um, it's about two wild young girls that decide to go on a three-month holiday to the States. Uh, you know, we couldn't wait to get to the States. All our heroes were from the States, our music, everything we loved. Uh, for three months and ended up staying 20 years. Well, I did anyway. The other one was sent back. <laughs> and all the things that happened to a young, uh, fearless, beautiful young girl. Um, in Hollywood, what can happen and what did happen? Yeah, that's what the story's about. And you know, what's this? And becoming a dominatrix and was just a part of it. And yeah, it's just a great journey. Yeah. So, what what are you hoping to accomplish with this book? Oh well, um, I'd like to sell a lot of copies. I'd like it to get adapted to a film. <laughs> um, maybe even a Netflix series, I think it would be great. Now that I've put it all out there, you know, I kept all these things a secret for 20 years or so and I wouldn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell anyone I was a dominatrix. And now that it's all out there, the world's the oyster. That's I feel awesome. like I've, I'm, I'm freed and I can, I can do something with that story. All the, the dark things and all the funny things that happened to me can now be, you know, um, shown to other people and maybe as some sort of guide of what not to do. I don't know. Um, yeah. It is a great guest with us today. Jennifer Learmont is with us. She joins us. Kiss My Boots is the latest from her, and she is amazing, and she joins us live here on our big program. So how do we get the book, my friend? How do we get your book? Well, um, it's available everywhere where good books are sold, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, um, Amazon, it's all online. So uh, it's available anywhere, anywhere. You just Google Kiss My Boots by Jennifer Lemont. It comes up. You can also, oh, yeah, the best place would be Amazon uh, in the States, Barnes & Noble, um, yeah, Walmart. I think there's a few, uh, lots of other places that have it. But, yeah, any of those places, I think. That's yeah. awesome. I was going to say with the publisher word, but it'll take you too long to get it if it's from Australia. <laughs> but if you get it on Amazon, you might get it in a few days. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. It is Jennifer Learmont. She's with us today here on our big, big program. And she joins us live here talking a little bit about Kiss My Boots. So what has been the feedback and the reception that you've gotten on this book so far? Uh I was really afraid about writing this and thinking that, uh, you know, nobody's going to want to talk to me again or they'll be, um, you know, disgusted or whatever. But it's quite the opposite. I've just got people that said they were inspired by it uh, to live their life more, to be a little bit more exciting, um, that I was brave. Uh, everything's been very positive. A, a lot of it is brave, and, and they can't believe what I've been through. And that I'm still here to tell the story. That's what they can't believe. Not only am I here, I'm thriving. I'm, I'm well, I'm healthy, I, I work out every day, I'm happy, you know. A lot, most people that went through stuff that I went through really are no, no longer here. Yeah. Or, they, or their minds aren't here anymore, that's for sure. 
Well, that too. The uh, the yeah. book the book is amazing. Uh, how do people get a hold of you online if they want to uh, correspond oh, with well, you or, can, or however? They can get a hold of me by email. They can get a hold of me by Instagram, which is Jennifer Learmont Jennifer underscore Learmont um, on Insta. Yeah, I'd love it actually. I would love people to get a hold of me and ask questions. My email is jenniferlearmont at gmail.com. Um, Facebook, Jennifer Learmont. Any of those ways. Yeah, just reach out. If you read the book, I'd love for you to give me your feedback, ask me questions. I love that. I love hearing what people think about it. And I, I really, I've only had one negative um, comment. And um, everyone else has put four stars, but mainly five stars. And one lady said, well, there's no hero. I said, well, this isn't a success story. It's a survival story, you know. Um, yeah. Well, Jennifer, uh, our next guest is going to be calling us here in just a few moments. So I, I, I hate to wrap things up with you, no, but, uh, no, but they're going to so be much. they're going to be calling here pretty Ziggy. quick. <laughs> but uh, before we let you go, how do people get in touch with you online and uh, buy your book? Uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Walmart, online. Jennifer underscore Learmont on Instagram would be fantastic. Or Jennifer Learmont at gmail.com. Any of those, just look me up and you'll find me. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, you are amazing. I look forward to uh, Thank you. chatting with you down the line. I appreciate you making some time for us today. We will talk to you soon. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jiggy in um, Kansas. Yeah. Yes. Well, well, thank you. I appreciate it. There yeah. she goes. That is Jennifer Learmont. Kiss my boots. We have got. The Prisoner coming up here in a few moments on our big program.